Have you ever wondered what would happen if a fire started in your data center? Would it spread quickly and trap everyone inside? Or could it be controlled and kept to just one area? This can depend on what cabling you use. I'm John. As a data center installer, I'm very familiar with the EU Construction Products Regulation, also known as CPR. This basically sets safety requirements for all buildings in Europe. The requirements provide different classifications from A to F based on the severity of the cable's reaction during a fire. For cables, the best rating possible is B2CA, while the worst is FCA, with CA here simply standing for cable. And the fire safety requirements don't just cover heat release. There are also classifications for smoke emission, represented by the letter S, flaming drops by the letter D, and acidity by the letter A. I sometimes wonder what would happen if a fire started in the cable canal near the exit of a data center I was working in. A cable with a lower rating, such as DCA, would release a lot of heat my exit would be quickly blocked and I'd need to find another way out. With a CCA rated cable, I would have more time, but I'd still need to hurry. With a B2CA cable, I can be more relaxed. Any heat will be minimized, giving me plenty of time to escape the flames. Flames can also cause burning drops of molten plastic to drip from the cables. Ouch! The severity of this, again, depends on the regulation followed. D2 rated cables produce so many droplets, my exit would be blocked. If a D0 rated cable is used, no droplets at all would be produced and I could easily leave the data center. There is no smoke without fire and you can't have fire without smoke. But what do the different fire ratings mean here? An S3, A3 rated cable is the most dangerous. My life could be at risk from the amount of smoke released. With an S1, A1 rated cable, I'd have a much better chance of getting out. I'd be safe from toxic fumes and so little smoke would be released. I could easily find my way out. Another place a fire might occur is in the cable duct connected to the riser zone. If a DCA cable is installed, the fire would spread throughout the next floor of the data center. With a B2CA cable, the flames would not be able to spread past the riser zone. With such different outcomes, I'm always relieved when I see cables with the highest safety ratings installed. Any data center managers looking for such cables should check out Huber & Sooner. Its high density cabling provides maximum fire protection, which can reduce the cost and time associated with planning, storage, and services. Plus, they keep data center workers like me and Lily as safe as possible if a fire does start.